Y'all, y'all, hey, it's a CP Scholar. I took a ghetto ratchet trip down Tubi Lane. Oh, hope this video finds you <laughs> happy, blessed, and full of love. So, you know, when you home and you're like, let me go ahead and watch this. this I, just in case y'all don't know, I love Tubi because it's like, I read urban fiction, or at least I used to. And they their movies are basically urban fiction on 25. And some told me, I said, let me watch these movies. I keep seeing All I Want Is You with starring Cla Claudia Jordan. And I said, let me, I got a, a, a hot minute. I looked and I saw one was an hour and 11 minutes long. The other one was like an hour and five minutes. I said, okay, this about to be bootleg as hell. We're going to take this trip down this, this journey. And I said, okay. So... We basically pull up on um, Claudia. I don't even remember what the hell the character's name was. And her man is getting out of jail. And she got a best friend. Um, the same big booty girl that they have in every Tubi movie. I think her name is Crystal the Doll. And um, she's very cute. But that booty is ridiculous. This is like, it got its own zip code. It, it probably takes over Detroit. That's where she's from. But anyways, I'm like, okay, we're going to see how Claudia Jordan, how she act. Because, you know, Tubi is suspect. So, her and freaking Crystal the Doll are sitting there waiting and she's like oh your man getting out of jail it's been four years and she get um he gets out she's been holding him down she's been putting his commissary she love her boo and she said i got a man too uh crystal the doll and we're gonna see this man she they, uh claudia jordan's character hasn't met this man yet so her man get out of jail and it's the same bald head dude with a goatee that they put in every Tubi movie. I have no idea who this man is. But he's short and fine. He muscular. And he gets out. What's his name? LaMaster Spratlin. That is quite a name. My baby should. <laughs> what the hell is this? But anyway, so LaMaster. Anyway, so um, if you know my real name, I, don't, I have no place to judge. Anyways, um, the, her man get out of jail. They go to, he said, I want something sweet. I thought he was going to get some of the cookie box. And um, he went to go get some ice cream. And, of course, the little dude in the ice cream shop was about serving that ice cream. And Claudia Jordan went to go pull the money out of the purse to treat him. He was like, "You, I don't never let my old lady touch her purse. What kind of dude is you? And I'm like, dang, ice cream man, you just came out of pocket. You just met these people. You don't even know these people. So he's about to sw uh, swing on dude. And dude was like, oh, um, don't ever try me in front of my lady. And Claudia Jordan was like, nah, you don't want to go back to jail. You just got out. So we already know this movie about to be unhinged. The other part is, um, he owed, owed this old behind super duper beige man, beige rage man. If you're from Detroit, most of the, he might, he must be from the East side. Um, cause the how he looked, um, $40,000 cause he went to jail, uh, covering for this dude and he ain't snitch but the dude said you still owe me forty thousand dollars i don't care if you ain't snitch if i see you it's on and popping and he got a homeboy also who's supposed to be his best friend who basically is his personal uber for the entire movie um because he for some odd reason can't drive don't nobody know anyways they get together they go do a double date with her best friend and his dude who come in looking like some dude i went to high school with but some big tall high old dude um and he is angry. He sound like every red pill manosphere person I ever seen. He's like, okay, um, the woman need to know his play, her place. And she, he has this lady calling her him my king. And he has money, I guess, quote unquote, high value. And she's doing, and she's not working. So she's basically running his bath water. Um, she's not allowed to speak to him or look him in the eye if he doesn't address her. I guess every man submit submission dream. I have no idea, but this was a hot mess. So he cussing her out because he's like, they want they're, they're supposed to have a double date, and he's like, why would I go date? Um, why would I go on a date with a criminal? He's beneath me. All my friends are from the Forbes, um, five hundred or whatever, whatever. Every one of these movies, hood movies, make every light skin or and or rich person look like the devil. And every dark skin, broke savior, <laughs> every man that's broke or just out of prison is uh, a savior. It makes absolutely no sense. The Tyler Perry of it all. So, long story short, my baby laughing at me. Long story short, he's um the dude who just got out of jail and the light skin angry man. Um, they not vibing. Uh, he's talking to the girl crazy in front of them, 
And then Claudia Jordan is like the toughest woman I ever seen in my life in this movie. Who knows? She's slanging the N-word like crazy, about to fight everybody. So she's obviously unhinged, but the acting is still bad. I don't know. But the rich dude offers the jail dude a job. He's like, nah, I'm straight. So he spends his time going to look for a job. In the meantime, there's this probation officer lady with a bad wig that... um is acting real crazy like trying to violate him popping up everywhere um talking to him crazy uh giving claudia jordan character a hard time because she, he's she's like you've been supporting a criminal you guys are all animals you're trash um and she's trying to find every way to violate him well one day t he he because this is not a full I'm, I'm not gonna get the full story but one day he like you acting like that because you need some in your life mm -mm in your life so i'm like oh okay so she started thinking about it so her and her wig say okay since you say i need some d how about you get it to me because it has been a year so then she called him at one o'clock in the morning and say um i got some clean pee and i got some dirty pee and if you don't come drop dropping off okay <laughs> shout out to little duval um i'm gonna make sure you get locked up why in the world why in the entire world did um she he start he 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 smashed her and he went home and told um his old lady that he smashed her and she was like well you gonna have to keep doing it because we don't want you to go he said i can do my time and just go back i only got two more years left like nah we don't want you to go back in go on ahead and just keep doing the do so she been blackmailing him all this time but then she fall in love so, Claudia Jordan, like, nah, I'm not having it. She want to fight this lady on sight. In the meantime, when her and the little bald-headed jail, jailbird dude went out, they see that the rich dude is out here knocking everything down. People at work, uh, people from the store. I mean, he's smashing everything in sight and dogging old girl out. So, Cla him and her had got into it, and he punched her in the eye, the best friend. And um, she go live with the Claudia Jordan character and uh, Jailbird for a minute. And I knew, I said, I know they're not going to make the, the uh, domestic DV uh, lady and the Jailbird do smash. I like, this is the most predictable behind move, but they didn't do it. Thank God I'm so sick of these stupid movies doing this. So, either way, Rich Dude. Turns out Rich Dude had an old lady on the side the entire time and was going to get rid of old girl. He wouldn't let her work. She ain't have no money. So why in the world... Hold on. Maybe, you know, we got to handle this real quick. Mommy duties. Okay. All right. Yeah, so... Man, so... He's slaying it everywhere. She found, He done bust her in the eye, but she went back to him because she said she was in love. And come to find out, like I say, he's knocking down everything at work. And he actually have an old lady, and he getting ready to kick her out. So he come home with his bad attitude. And, oh, I skipped the part. The reason she found out he was smashing everything is she went to go surprise him at work with some flowers. And she went to the office and... Let's just say he was coming from the back. <laughs> so she saw it and she left. She ain't say nothing. So when he came home with his bad attitude, she pulled a piece out on him and she she was like, where's the money? So she was going to rob him so she could dip. And of course, him being arrogant, he uh, knocked the money out of her hands and she promptly lit his behind up. So she ended up in jail. So now she in jail. Back to Jailbird and Claudia Jordan. The toughest chick ever. Like I said, she even when she, her other friend got a uh, dude got caught with somebody else, she bust that lady in hell with a bottle like it was her dude. But it, Claudia Jordan is unhinged in this movie. So remember, he's smashing the probation officer. Um, same time the jailbird dude owe owe forty thousand dollars to the high yellow man uh, that he went to jail for. He, the homeboy that was the Uber driver um, was like, we need to come up with the money because he said he don't want to hear nothing else or we both going to be gone. It gave a little bit of Friday elements, but it wasn't a comedy. So he see the probation lady and she said, I'm actually in love with you. And I'm sorry I did you dirty. 
And so she gave him the forty thousand dollars to give to the, uh, the head dude that want to take him out, named Snow. And why in the world the Uber driver dude ran off with the money? <laughs> you know, ran off with the plug twice. And uh, so now he ain't had the forty thousand again. So he went to the probation lady, uh, officer lady again. She gave him another forty thousand in cash. Was it? Was you dirty? I don't know any probation officers that actually make that much money that they can hand off 40 all over the place. Anyway, so he got a 40000 from her. He went to go find his little Uber driver homeboy who ran off with the money, lit him up, kept that money, went and gave the other head dude the money. So now he off, off the hook with on the money. So, like I said, the probation officer uh, lady says, cut it off with him, say, I'm sorry I gave him the money, but Claudia Jordan don't know that. She done lost her mind. She like, I'm tired of this lady smashing my dude. She uh, sneaks up. Oh, she basically catches the probation officer lady slipping and shoot her in the leg. And she was about to take the lady out. And um, <laughs> until... The jailbird dude saw, stopped her, and was like, nah, go ahead, get out of here. I'm going to give you this money to leave. And she's like, no, I'm going to go ahead and just do my time. He's like, I'm trying to keep you um, from being going there forever. And the probation lady was like, you saved my life. I owe you. So she go to jail for five years. She was supposed to go to nine, but the probation lady, who's so sprung by this man's nether regions, got her it reduced to five so while she's in jail she said i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want anybody to see me in these cages so i will see you when i get out promise you'll wait for me okay he said all right cool when she get to jail her homegirl's in jail for killing her dude so they one happy they bunkies on the bunk beds they living it up we twin in together in jail and matching jail outfits so man why he was sending these letters. He was sending money on commissary. He was sending, and Claudia Jordan character is ignoring her the entire time. That's when Crystal the Dog character was like, "Hey, dummy, how does he know that you're waiting for him? How, um, it's been five years. How you know he don't have nobody else?" She said, "Oh, he, I told him he wasn't gonna say anything." So she finally started reading the letters, and he's like, "I love you. I'm waiting for you. Just say something." And then the dude said, "This is my final letter. I gave you. I put in all these money orders for your commissary, but you haven't been answering. I it was even gonna put in money for your home girl, but you're not answering, and it disappeared. So the day she got out, she would take a Uber ride, a fantastic voyage, go find this man, and expect him to be at the same job. But anyway, she went to the uh, house first, and the man opened the door and was like, "I I don't know who you're looking for. Oh, his name was Max in the movie." I don't know who you're looking for. I've been here three years. I never heard of that name. Then, oh yeah, her name, what's her name? Chloe. Her name was Chloe. Claudia Drew's name was Chloe. Chloe, that's a damn shame. But anyways. Yeah, I read the description. Yeah, you just read it. <laughs> so, why in the world she went to the job, like he, because he had got a job being a janitor for the dude who got, uh, the rich, ignorant dude. And they were like, oh, um, he hasn't worked in the longest and the secretary gave her a post-it with the address. I'm gonna say, sister girl, help me out. I need to find this dude. She put, he's, um, the sister girl said he had become a real estate agent. Man, so she pulled up on the house. The house is nice. He opened the door and she jumped on him. Oh my God, I love you, Max. You waited for me. I'm home. Let's have our family. And this baby came out and said, daddy, mommy looking for you. First of all, to be y'all dead ass wrong because that baby looked like that baby looked like John B. That baby looked like Elder Barge and Claudia George. Um, the pro. Oh, well, we gonna. I'm gonna say why it didn't make sense. Uh, Max, aka Joe Bird, don't look like that. Dark skin, fine, whatever. And this beige baby came. Out. I said, I know. That. I said, mm -hmm, yeah. But who come out? Hey, babe. The probation officer and her bad wig came out. Came out. And so, I say all that to say this. There is a video going on social media where they're like, Tubi strikes again, I'm done with them. And that's where this scene comes from. Freaking Chloe the sees... Wig. Huh? The bad wig? Is that the bad wig? Lady? Her name is Mahogany Raspberry. My, see, my, 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 my girl come through with a clutch. Bad wig probation officer is Mahogany Raspberry. So... When the probation officer lady comes out, she's like, what? I told you about it, my man. And she goes and she pulls out, you know, pulls out the blicky. Hit the probation officer in the face. 
And I don't mean hit. You know what? She unalived that lady. And then the jail dude was trying to reach over to help his wife out. He got unalived in the face. And then the poor baby said, I don't have anything to do with this. I'm just a kid. And she unalived him in the face. I said, oh, it's unhinged. It's unhinged. This lady's poor totally... <laughs> oh, my God. Poor baby. I said, it's unhinged. Then she went through, and I think she kicked each to hers, kicking the three of them. And how the movie starts is... She's in jail, and she said, and the dude Silk White is writing an urban fiction story, and um, she he, she's like, you want this story? It's gonna be good, and he's basically taking her story to turn it into a book. And he said, do you feel bad? She said, hell, I feel good. I'm happy about what I did. You straight? I told you the story was gonna be lit. But anyway, so this thing was unhinged. So that's where that scene comes from. And I took a trip to Tubi Land, and I said, I cannot believe that I watched these movies. So, if you want to see the foolery for yourself, just for the experience, it's called All I Want Is You, 1 and 2. It's two hours of shenanigans, and if you're into bootleg hood movies like I am, I suggest you check it out. With that being said... Love who loves you. May God bless you with everything that you need. And the CPS Scholar is out. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>